Good going. <laughs> I uh, get up and move these plants around because, unfortunately, where I'm at, the sun is so bright that it literally burns a lot of the plants and kills them, <laughs> practically. Or they would die if I left them out. And so some of them I have to keep moving them around and adjusting them a certain way so they don't get too much exposure. But isn't that what God does with you? Doesn't he move you around at times so you don't get too much exposure to the world in his ways? Or are you one of those people that like to get out and just tough it out and be out there and you don't need to worry about you know going to church and you don't need your devotionals and you don't need to do anything because you can just be out there and get all weathered <laughs> okay <laughs> not me man <laughs> like my mother said hey if you're standing in the sun and there's shade you're standing in the sun and there's the shade <laughs> that's all i can say about it and that's what devotionals do for us is that in emotional it causes us in our emotions to react to god and he speaks to us so that we would find where the shade is and come in out of the sun because sometimes you're going to get burned the success you covet follow the path of obedience it leads to the throne of god your treasure be it success necessary on the material plane will also further the work of my kingdom or the hidden spiritual wonders revealed by me to those who diligently seek this treasure lies at the end of your track from one point a promise of mine or a command to the next you have to follow till finally you reach the success you covet all your work for the moment is in the material plane and the spiritual is only to help the material when your material goal is reached then the material will serve only to attain the spiritual you see sometimes God may take you on a journey, yeah, like I've been, where it looks like you're not doing anything spiritual. You have a job, you get up, you go to work, to the best of your ability, you serve the person you work for, and you give them 100% of your effort. Now, I see more and more that people aren't doing that, and... I don't know if they're Christian or not. I know that I was taught when, after I was a Jesus freak that you don't want to tell your employer you're a Christian because Christians don't work. They're noted for not being hard workers. They're famous for taking time off. They're unreliable. And it's one of those challenges that employers had that they couldn't get a good day's work out of them. And so when I heard that, I said, you know what? I'm not going to ever say I'm a Christian on, on my employer's dollar. I'm not ever going to tell them that I'm a born-again Christian or witness to them on the time that my employer is paying me. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be for God all that I can be in giving that man more than he ever imagined because I'm going to work my tail end off as long as I'm on his payroll. Every job that I ever had Okay, I used to say it every job. Now I have to say most of the jobs. <laughs> the majority of the jobs that I took, I always took at a lesser role and a lesser position. And within a week, I was usually promoted. And within two weeks, I always got a raise. And the simple fact was I was willing to do the least of the work with the most amount of effort because I just wanted the money so I could use it for something else. To pay my bills, to earn a living to I actually enjoy work I mean I, God knows I I love the ministry but <laughs> this ministry is free you know to people you know I'm not getting any income from it but the point is you know not directly anyways <laughs> indirectly maybe the Lord takes care of it you know sorry Lord but no nothing direct you know I don't get any tithings or any any offerings or any you know monetary remunerations of any kind but the point is, is that when I was working, you know, I'd work my tail end off, only because I wanted to be a good witness for Jesus. And 
I can look back at my work history and sure, there were times where I got fired, you know, I'd mouth off or say something stupid, you know, but there were also mostly those times that God used it as a testimony because I succeeded. And I succeeded at a lot of jobs in a wide variety of areas. And it blew my mind, you know. I mean, I was probably as much shocked as my employers were. But I was a quick study and a quick learn, and I would look at the people that were experienced, and I would follow and imitate them, and then see if God couldn't give me some better way or some other inspiration to do it. And I would. But I devoted all my time and energy to that employer so that it would be a witness. It would be a testimony. That's a step. Then, when God took me from that position and put me into as a missionary or as a past pastor, as a elder or a deacon or the one or two times that I had a chance to fill in for a pastor at a church, then God would allow me to look back at those times and to apply the same responsibility in the spiritual realm that I did in the physical realm. Because in the physical realm, I was loving the job and I'd work my tail end off and work hard and put my nose to the grindstone and succeed. In the ministry, I'd go right in, put all of my desires on the back burners, put all of my effort into the ministry. People used to say about me, I was whole hog or nothing. Well, I like to say that I was on fire and in love with the Lord, that I wanted to do all I could with everything that I had, and I did. If I could inspire you this day to do the same, that whatever it is that God is doing with you, Take the one step and do it with all of your might. Then the next step will open and do it with all of your strength. And the next step will open and do it with all of your heart. And the next step will open and do it with all of your mind. And use all that you are for that. And God will take all that he is and pour it into you. Because then when it's time to share, like this, <laughs> he will outpour from you all that he's poured into you. Through your experiences, through your life, through your memories, through your devotion, through your emotion, and through all that you are, if you take those steps, you will succeed in what you want and find that what you want is what he desired for you all along. Delight yourself in the Lord your God, and he will give you the desires of your heart. He will. I guarantee it.